So we're going to start from the Bhagavad Gita introduction, right from the beginning. And the introduction itself begins with an invocation. Invocation means to call upon higher spiritual authorities for their presence and their blessings and their inspiration so that you can go on. You want their blessings, you want their good wishes. Um, you want auspiciousness. Auspiciousness means good fortune. Good fortune you get from above. You can't create your own <laughs> good fortune. You have to get someone else's good wishes, someone who's in a position to give them to you. That's how things flow. They naturally flow from high to low. They flow from above. Ultimately, all good fortune comes from Krishna, and this is called the Parampara system. You have one teacher, passes on what he knows to his student, student passes on what he knows to his student, so on, so on. And ultimately, you want to have the experience of the teacher giving the knowledge and the wisdom and the student satisfying the teacher by attentive hearing and by service. So when everybody's satisfied, then everything is complete. There's one verse by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Yasya Prasadat Bhagavat Prasado, that when the spiritual master is satisfied, Prasada, then... Krishna is satisfied, Bhagavat Prasado. And conversely, if the spiritual master is not satisfied, yasya prasadan, nagati kutopi, you don't achieve your, your aim, you're nowhere. So we want to avoid that by working within the parampara system. What Prabhupada does in the introduction is establish himself as a representative of his own spiritual authorities. His spiritual master and his spiritual master, spiritual master, ultimately going all the way back to Krishna, uh, representing everyone in the disciplic succession. What you're doing when you're putting yourself in that position is you're 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 representing everything that's already been presented. You're an agent of uh, of a higher of a higher power. You're acting on behalf of, and for all intents and purposes, you are as good as. That is why the spiritual master gets all the respect due to the Supreme Lord, just like the police, if you treat them properly, uh, <laughs> they, they're, they're, they're due all the respect that the government is supposed to get. So, uh, when he begins this introduction, he is, he is praying that he will properly represent you, meaning Krishna, meaning his own spiritual master. He's not making stuff up. Uh, it's not about me any any real transmission of spiritual knowledge is not about me or how smart or clever I am. It's this your success is based on how well can I pass down what I have learned, not on how well I can make stuff up. And you want to pass on what you've learned from your spiritual master, who what he's learned from his spiritual master. Ultimately, everything comes from Krishna. So that's what's going on in this Bhagavad Gita introduction. And that's what I'm going to begin reading now. And I have a guitar, which I'll try to play along. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshuran Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam I was born in the darkest ignorance, and my spiritual master opened my eyes with the torch of knowledge. I offer my respectful obeisance unto him. When will Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada who has established within this material world the mission to fulfill the desire of Lord Chaitanya, give me shelter under his lotus feet. Bande ham Sri Guru, Sri Yuta Parakamalam, Sri Gurun Vaishnavangscha, Sri Rupam Sagrajatam, Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam, Tam Sajivam Sadvetam Savadhutam Purijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam 
Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanvitangscha I offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master and unto the feet of all Vaishnavas. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of Sri La Rupa Goswami, along with his elder brother Sanatan Goswami, as well as Raghunath Das and Raghunath Bhatta, Gopal Bhatta and Srila Jiva Goswami. I offer my respectful obeisances to Lord Krishna Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, along with Advaita Acharya, Gadadhar, Sri Vas, and other associates. I offer my respectful obeisances to Srimati Radharani and Sri Krishna, along with their associates, Sri Lalita and Vishaka. Hey Krishna Karuna Sindo, Dina Bando Jagatpate, Gopesha Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta Namostute. O my dear Krishna, you are the friend of the distressed and the source of creation. You are the master of the gopis and the lover of Radharani. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshvari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye I offer my respects to Radharani, whose bodily complexion is like molten gold and who is the queen of Vrindavan. You are the daughter of King Vrishabhanu and you are very dear to Lord Krishna. Banjakal Patrubhyas Cha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha I offer my respectful obeisances unto all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord. They can fulfill the desires of everyone just like desire trees and they are full of compassion for the fallen souls. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda I offer my obeisances to Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vas and all others in the line of devotion. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.